welcome back to my channel. So today we're talking about Bunnings, which has been in the news recently for all the wrong reasons. Their Dogs Allowed policy has come under fire recently for several incidents that have occurred involving dogs in Bunnings stores. And we all know how the average person feels about seeing dogs in Bunnings stores. No, no. In January, this story was picked up by local outlets, and while many people were very sympathetic, a lot more were very quick to push back, which set off the debate as to who was ultimately responsible for the dog's injuries. It was traumatic, um, and it, it all happened so quickly. Lisa Sinclair was walking into Bunnings at Burley Waters on Saturday when her chihuahua, Chelsea, got her paws stuck in the escalator. I picked her up, cuddled her, and there was blood everywhere. Sadly, injuries like these are becoming more common, with emergency surgery costing anywhere from a few hundred dollars to a few thousand. In a statement, Bunnings said it was sorry to hear of the incident. Lisa just wants other pet owners to learn from her ordeal. So that it doesn't happen to any other dog or any other dog owner. And just as this ridiculous story was starting to fade away, this happened. Now we've heard reports that a savage dog attack took place in a Bunnings store at Stafford yesterday afternoon. Onlookers say a pit bull launched at a dog in the store and sadly that dog was killed in the attack. Peter Mayle was an eyewitness at Bunnings when the incident took place, and he's online now. Peter, can you tell me what you saw at Bunnings at Stafford yesterday afternoon? At the time, like, I didn't see the actual dog grab it or whatever, but I was shopping and I heard a dog, like, yelping and stuff, and then I heard a man yell, get off him, get off him. Um, so I walked around to see what was happening, and by the time I walked around, there was like a pit bull looking dog that had a brown fluffy little tiny dog hanging in its mouth. Um, the brown dog, small dog, was not responsive at all. The owner of the pit bull was punching the pit bull in the mouth to try to get it off him, telling him to let go. And what happened then? I, I didn't want to watch anymore. I, I, I walked away from the incident. Um, I heard that the owner tried to flee with the, the dog, so he hopped in his ute to get away. Um, but the, one of the Bunnings staff members got the number plate of the driver. That was so intense. I like can't even with this place. And now I'm irritated. Here are two perfect examples of people being selfish and entitled and willfully ignorant. One's a boomer and one's a bogan. And these are the two groups that are taking advantage of the dogs allowed policy. They're also a pretty accurate reflection of the state of common courtesy in today's world. The dogs allowed policy was originally instated for tradies who were there to pick up work supplies so that their dogs weren't left in hot cars to die. But now every Karen and Dazza takes advantage of the policy so they don't have to walk their dog that day. These are the inevitable results. We see the same things playing out in the streets, in homes, in dog parks, and at the end of the day, the animals are the ones paying the price. And if Bunnings don't revoke this policy, I foresee staff being injured next. There's just no convincing owners that their dog isn't a precious angel. Look, I've got babies too. Two of them. But I'm not so arrogant as to think that I have complete control over them 24-7. Things happen. Triggers appear. No pack leader can change that, and that's why the hierarchy exists. That's why reprimands exist. That's why punishment exists. Although, you know, as people, we correct. We don't punish. Having said all of this, of course, if you choose to take your dog into a public space, you are 100% responsible for it and its behavior. You don't get to take on the commitment of a pet and then put that responsibility on hold depending on where you are. It doesn't work like that and life doesn't work like that. People just need to do better by their dogs and by each other. I am just so sick of shitty dog owners. And it's most of you. Sorry, but it is. It's most of you. Yeah, I said it. <laughs> anyway, let me know what you all think in the comment section below. I'd be interested to hear your opinion and I'll see you in the next video.